Welcome to our studio. Today's chat is with Matthew Burton of ACOM. Uh, Matthew Burton is a beta tester for our V21. Welcome, Matthew. Uh, can you tell us a bit more about yourself and your company? Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm Matt Burton, as you said. I'm a principal structural engineer at AECOM, and I am the beta tester on C21. Uh, AECOM are a multinational, multidiscipline consulting firm. Uh, one branch of the AECOM family is structures. And that is where I lay my engineering hat. Thank you. How long have you been working with SIA Engineer and what do you use it for? Uh, well, I've been with AECOM for 13 years and I've been using SIA for just as many years. Um, <laughs> I have used SIA Engineer in the design of schools, train depots, airports, uh, stadiums, pavilions. Uh, it's probably easier just to say a broad multitude of structures I've designed in SIA Engineer. Great. Thank you. And about SIA Engineer uh, 21, you've had the opportunity to be part of our beta tester group for this new and exciting release of SEN uh, 21. Uh, can you tell us a bit more about your experience with SIA Engineer 21 and what is your impression? <clears throat> My first impressions of SEER 21. So SEER 21 and the new user interface, it's been on my radar for a few years. And if there's a complaint that I've heard about using SEER over the years, which I've also heard as positive, is that there's a lot of ways you can approach analysis within it. So for me, that's a positive because it's versatile enough to use across the breadth of projects I mentioned. Um, but it does mean you've got like the scope for two similar engineers to do different things in SEER. And my impression on 21 is that aside from the, the obvious jazzy overhaul that is really going to be very productive, um, the way we approach analysis is going to be directed to the search bar where not going to need to go looking for the functions we want and working out which bars they're in. We're going to be able to search consistently and logically. It's a different way of working, and I think it's going to make uh, analysis methodology uh, a lot more efficient and uh, consistent without losing any of that versatility. Okay, great. Um, <laughs> have you already initiated the project in SIA Engineer 21? Um, can you tell us a bit more about uh, the context? Uh, is it possible to to have some maybe images or uh, some 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 data what we could share? I can't on that because we're not allowed to run projects on beta software. All our testing has been created on hypothetical buildings or using many of the existing buildings we've done in here as a basis. But it will be uh, once it's released, I can do that, but not before. Okay, that's good to know. Thank you. Uh, which are for you the key highlights um, or? the highlights which you found uh, most desirable uh, of the new release, new interface? Uh, the key highlights for the new user interface, uh, well, that's going to be the CS Spotlight, the search bar, is for the consistency. Um, I think this is more because it is how I like to work, but I also like the ability to customize the shortcut to user keys rather than going through the toolbars. Uh, I like the thought that if I've got something I've been doing a hundred times, I'm just going to set a nice little hotkey and go for it every time. Yeah. And what are the main benefits uh, you've experienced? Uh, the main benefits in the uh, 21. So again, I'm going to say that that's the search bar. Um, so I've never really liked the way you may look for things like averaging strips in, uh, say, concrete, but you wouldn't find them in analysis. But that's all going to go now. If I'm looking for averaging strips, I'll be to type it in, and it's there. Anything I want, as long as I can think, what is this in engineering terms, I'm going to find it straight away in a consistent way. I like that. So if I understand correctly, uh, when you type something in the search bar, uh, you can easily find it or just move fast uh, instead of searching within the whole menu of, of C Engineer. Exactly. It removes any um, reliance that I need to be looking in the right area to find something or to find a specific methodology. 
it's going to keep things versatile by when I search for something, giving me the full list of possible options to conduct the analysis yeah. without having to just stumble across it. I like that a lot. Yeah. Okay, the next question is also related to uh, what you've said before. Um, do you feel that uh, CA Engineer 21 can have a positive impact on your workflow? If so, how? And maybe you could share as well some uh, measurable results uh, of the dummy projects to, uh, you have set up? Um, let me share dummy projects. I've already sent a couple of dummy projects off to Vladimir. I'm not sure whether they'll be able to use them because I tend to base them around projects that I really like um, that aren't necessarily my own. Okay. Um, I don't have any metrics though for you. We will do, but we don't yet. Okay, let's wait for those in the upcoming period. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, did see Engineer 21's uh, new interface exceed your expectations and how? Uh, my expectations of CA21. Well, I was on the first calls to talk about changing the user interface back in 2018. So my expectations are already in line with what I've seen. But I think it was a big challenge, a big leap, and it offers a lot of benefits when you spend the time on it. So I think those who aren't expecting this are going to be really quite impressed. Yeah. Thank you. Would you recommend CIA Engineer 21 and why? <clears throat> I would recommend SEER 21 to long-term SEER users who want to spend a bit more time on design and less in setting things up. And for new users uh, and the, the generations that have been brought up on highly visual user interfaces or uh, programming and prefer simple searches, to them I think this is going to feel really familiar. Okay. Uh, we're moving to the end of the chat. <laughs> okay. Is there any? Is there anything else you would like to share with us? Um, I don't have anything coming to mind. Uh, good luck with the release. Looking forward to seeing it rolled out and seeing how people use it. Thank you, Matthew, for your time. Thank you. This was the chat with Matthew. For more information, please visit our website or download the trial for the spectacular release of V21.